YouTube, it's your boy Jippy J back with another video, man. You already know we got some my GM going on today. The next chapter experience life as an NBA general manager in this experience, all new story experience in this all new story experience that will both entertain and delight as you attempt to build a championship roster. Let's go ahead and start it up. Select this when you are ready to start your new my GM slash lightning. Okay, this is how we adjust. Let's do six, six minutes and fantasy you draft on. All right, so we go ahead and we chose the Celtics here. Western Conference Finals. Take a deep breath, JR. We should have the MR uh, results back any second. Okay. That's what Bradley Jones is talking about. My knee, I can't bend it. Something is not right here. I never felt this level of pain. You just landed awkwardly. The knee is swelling as can be expected. We'll know more shortly. How can this happen to me? How can this happen tonight in the playoffs? I was feeling it, you know? What did I have? 30 points? You were up to 36. Don't worry about that right now. Just focus on your breathing. I'm not doing that. What if Bradley JR? I just got the MRI results. Okay. Mind you, everything I'm about to say is early, but our initial diagnosis is a full tear of the anterior, anterior cruciate ligament and partial tears of the posterior cruciate ligament and collateral cruciate <laughs> ligament. What does that mean? My ACL is torn. I've never even heard of those other ligaments. JR. It is very unusual to suffer injuries to these ligaments in the same knee simultaneously. The collateral cruciate ligament in particular is generally only injured due to a direct blow to the inside of the knee, which pushes it sideways when the knee gets... Thank you, James. We get the idea. Let's focus on making JR comfortable. We will need to perform another MRI. Uh, in a few days, once the swelling starts to subside, only then will we really know what we are up against. If you excuse me, I need to get some more opinions on these results. What does this mean for my career? How long will it take before I'm back on the court? JR, I'm not one to sugarcoat. This isn't great. The good, the good news is I've seen players come back from far worse than this. And we get the phone call. Six years later. Mr. Payne, I just arrived. A little traffic on the way here. I should be inside in a few minutes. JR, I'm a man that likes to capitalize on every moment and take the most of it and make the most of it. Let's make the most of this moment. Yes, of course, sir. I guess I want to go over what is on the agenda for today. Of course, it's your first day on the job. There will be a host of meet and greets. You can imagine a number of people in the organization that want to meet the legendary J.R. Smith in person, right? Simple enough, okay. If only that were it, the hard part will be your introductory press conference with the media. We've scheduled a session at 2 p.m. to introduce you. The media around here aren't ones for pleasantries. Pleasantries. They are going to come at you hard. They are going to ask pointed questions. How you respond to these questions will lay the foundation for what you can accomplish here. Mr. Payton, I can see Brad and Irvin are about to head into the facility. Do you mind if I catch up with them real quick and introduce myself? Please, call me Bernard. And by, any, and by all means, I'll see you in a few minutes. Brad, Kyrie, wait up. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is JR. JR Smith to the OZ. <laughs> New GM of the team, and Mr. Smith, 
I can't even speak today, man. I'm telling you. Mr. Smith, welcome. Uh, I was a huge fan of yours back in your playing days. I can't tell you how excited I am that the team hired you. I really felt like hiring a GM that has you, that has, you know, been in the league, that has gone through what it's like for us players. It will be great for the organizations. You will uh, have the respect of the other players. I can tell you that much. Thank you, Kyrie. To be honest, I'm a big fan of yours as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do together. Mr. Smith, it is an honor. I've been I've been asking Mr. Payton if you have given any indication on if you plan on bringing your own staff or if you like what we have going on here. Brad, we haven't discussed staffing at this point. Right now, we are just in the get to know and it gets to know each other phase. But let me tell you, I like you. I think you're a smart guy, and I know you have a lot of respect for the other players in the locker room. Okay, coach is definitely a player's coach. He wants to win. I want to win. That's what I'm here for. That's what we're all here for. Uh, aren't we all here for that, right? I'm looking forward to a big year. We have a great group of guys, okay? Uh, I am as well. If you excuse me, I need to get Mr. Payne. Get to Mr. Payne's office. We have a lot to go over today. Apparently, I have a big first day. Okay. After all that speaking, pretty much, I guess we're getting into the chapter. Bernard, my apologies for being late. It's quite all right. JR, have a seat. Hey, did Viv offer you one of her world-famous chai latte spice scones on the way in? They're out of this world. Uh, I must have missed it. In fact, they have inspired me to build an app that lets you know in real time when you've added too much of an ingredient when preparing foods. And it's, ne it's next level stuff. We've got some kinks to work out. Like you, like how you keep your phone pointed at your batter while you're actually adding the ingredients. But I think this is going to be a home, to be a game changer in the food preparation business. We're calling it Baker Buddy. Okay. Dot dot dot. <laughs> so you said you saw Brad and Irvin on the way in? Yes, yes, yes. Good guys. I got a chance to introduce myself finally. Blah blah blah. Okay. You have plenty of time to get to know the team. Yeah, I would, I would like to officially, in person, welcome to you as the new general manager of the Celtics. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I am so kindly upheld. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I remember May 17th, 2011. Well, sad day that was. You were playing in Dallas and 30-something points midway through the third quarter. 36, sir. <laughs> right, as I was saying, you were dominated on both ends of the court. You showed strength and courage and tenacity and grace that night. To later find out that it would be your last time on the court breaks my heart. I know how hard players work. To not only just make it to the NBA, but to make it into the elite like you did. It took some time, but I've come to terms with my career. In truth, I was getting close to hanging it up anyhow. Now, I don't believe that for a second. What I do believe is that the work ethic, the drive, and the dedication that you made, that made you the player you were, are the exact personality traits that are going to make you an amazing GM in this league. And especially for the Celtics. You don't lose. I don't lose. The fans here, they are hungry for success. The media, they are hungry for success. Every Celtic fan wants to read one of their columns about how great the team is. When the wins stop coming, the media starts looking for cracks. Cracks that they can exploit for stories. Probably something about Kyle Reese, something about Gordon Hayward. You know what I'm saying? For clicks, whatever it is, they strive for. That's how they get paid. Expectation as an athlete, it's a term I have to come, it's a term I have come to understand very well. Let's see. It's 1.50 p.m. JR, in about 10 minutes, you will need to perform your first act as a GM. Your introductory press conference, this won't be a uh, not one, not two type of event. The media here are tough. They are hard hitters. They're going to ask you questions that are going to make you uncomfortable. Can you handle discomfort? I thrive in it, sir. Good. My advice, don't lie. Be honest. Be open. Feel free to tell them what is on your mind. 
but protect the organization at all times. If you go out there and blow rainbows out your ears, that will eat you alive. <laughs> Thank you for the advice, Bernard. You're, you hired the right man. I'm ready to show the NBA what I'm capable of. You already know, man. Visual Concepts presents Trippy J as the new GM. Yeah. The next chapter. Hey, I'm Liddy. Hey, hey. Sticker. Starring J.R. Smith. Jar, welcome. Um, you touched on this a bit in your opening remarks, but I'm wondering if you could, you know, tell us more about your vision for the team. What are the goals for the season and moving forward? Mighty tweaks needed. We're in. All right, that's what we're gonna say. All our guys can play. I have no doubt that they can play. Okay. Ultimately, we got some nice pieces and a really solid core, and I think we're on. We're only, you know, a few moves away from being our best version of ourselves. Jerry, any thoughts on your head coach? Will you be looking for will you be looking to bring in your own people? Or are you happy with the coach? I have a ton of conf confidence in Brad. He's great with the players, he's great with the media, and he's one of the smartest basketball minds I've ever met. He's going to do a great job for us this year. And as you can see right there, we got the achievement. State your intentions for your franchise and my GM. And when we get back, when we get back with the next video, y'all see me playing my first game. Without further ado, thanks for watching. And it's been your boy JPJ, man. Salute.